Hi guys, so for this tutorial, I'll be using my yarns, which is my leftover yarns from a previous project. My size 4.5 millimeter hook, my scissors and my measuring tape. So to get started, I'm going to start by making my granny squares. And for that, I'm going to start by making a magic circle. So to do a magic circle, I'm just going to do a magic knot. Now I have my magic circle. Put your hook into the magic circle, yarn over and pull through. Now make a chain of four. This serves as your first double crochet plus your turning chain. Into the magic circle, go in with two double crochets. Making it a total of three double crochets. Now chain three. Go back into the circle with three double crochets. One. two and three now you can pull on the tail to reduce the circle chain three go back into the circle with three double crochets one two, three, chain three and go back into the circle with three double crochets. One, two, Three. Now you can pull on the tail to close up the magic ring. Chain three. Slip stitch into the first double crochet. Now you have four sets of three double crochets and you have four corners, one, two, three, four. Now I'm just going to fasten off my yarn and switch to my next color. So I'll be switching to my pink yarn. Now what you're going to do is you can attach the yarn to any corner. Now if you're not going to be switching colors, you know there's no need to cut off the yarn. You can just continue with the pattern instead of cutting off the yarn. But since I'm switching colors, I just decided to cut off the yarn and start afresh. So I'm just going to attach my yarn at any corner. Chain three, go into this chain three space with two double crochets. Chain one, skip this three double crochet stitches, go into the next chain three space with three double crochets. Now this is a corner because you have your three double crochets. You're going to chain three and go back into the chain three space with three double crochets. Chain 
chain one skip this three double crochet stitches go into the chain three space where you have your corner with three double crochets chain three and go back into the same corner with three double crochets chain one skip those three double crochet stitches and go into the corner with three double crochets chain three and go back into the same chain three space where you have your corner with three double crochets now chain one in this very first corner where i just have three double crochets i'm going to go in with three double crochets chain three now slip stitch into the first double crochet stitch and i have my second row of grinding stitch for the third row i'm going to start by making a chain of three turn over in this chain three space go in with two double crochets chain two sorry chain three since this is a corner so each time you get to the corner you're going to make three double crochets chain three and go back into the same corner with three double crochets so into the same chain three space go in with three double crochets now chain one go into the next stitch with three double crochets chain one we've gotten to the next corner go in with three double crochets one two three chain three and go back into the corner with three double crochets chain one Go into the next, skip those three double crochets and go into this chain one space with three double crochets. Chain one. Skip those three double crochet stitches. I've gotten to my next corner, go in with three double crochets. chain three and go back into the same chain three space with three double crochets chain one go into this chain one space with three double crochets chain one go into this corner with three double crochets chain three and go back into the corner with three double crochets Now chain one, 
Go into this chain one space with three double crochets. Chain one, slip stitch into this first double crochet stitch. Now I have my third row of granny square. For the fourth row, chain four, sorry, chain three, and turn over. In this first stitch, this is a chain one space, go in with two double crochets. Now chain one, go into the next chain one space with three double crochets. Chain one. Go into this chain three space, which is a corner with three double crochets. Chain three and go back into the chain three space with three double crochets. So now from this point, you're going to repeat this till you have the amount of rows you want for your granny square. You can use as much colors as you want for your granny square, depending on how colorful you want your top to be. So each time you get to the corner where you have your chain three space, you're going to go in with three double crochets, chain three, and go back into the chain three space with three double crochets. Now I'll do this and I'll let you know how many rows I end up with my granny square. So I'm done with the granny square and I did a total of six rows of the granny stitch. Now I'm going to make one row of single crochet on the outer part of the square. So chain one in the first stitch go in with one single crochet. Put one single crochet into the next stitch and a single crochet in the very next stitch. So you're just putting one single crochet in each stitch till you get to the end of the row. I'm done going around with one single crochet in each stitch and my granny square is approximately eight inches when stretched. Since my bust is 38 inches, I'm going to need about five of the granny square, which will give me approximately 40 inches when stretched, which is okay since my bust is 38, having an extra two inches is not a bad idea. Now the size of your granny square is determined by the size of your bust. So if you have bigger bust, your granny square is going to be bigger and if your bust is smaller, your granny square is going to be smaller so just take the measurement of your bust and determine how many granny squares you're going to end up with or the measurement you want for your granny square but like i said mine is approximately eight inches when stretched and i'm going to have about five of the granny square so since i already have one i'm going to do four more granny squares to make it five granny squares and then i'm going to show you guys what to do next Okay, so I did a total of five granny squares and this is approximately this is approximately 39 to 40 inches when stretched and remember my bust is 38 inches so 40 inches is okay for my bust so if you remember, each of my granny square was about 8 inches when stretched. So a total of 5 granny squares make it 40 inches. 
So just do this based on your measurement. Your granny square can be big, can be small, depending on your measurement. But like I said, round my bust is 38 inches and I have a total of 40 inches for my granny squares when stretched. So now instead of joining the granny squares together to make the bust, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the waistband and the upper part of the top before I join it together. So starting on the upper part of the top, I'm going to start by attaching my yarn at one end. Now that I've attached my yarn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by making a chain of one. In the first stitch, go in with one single crochet. Go into the next stitch with one single crochet. So you can see which stitch you're going to be putting in your single crochet because the stitches are well defined. So I'm just putting in one single crochet in each stitch. Now I'm going to do this until I get to the end of the last granny square. So I'm putting one single crochet across till I get to the end of the last granny square. So I'm done putting one single crochet in each stitch. Now I'm at the end of the last granny square. What I'm going to do for the next row is I'm going to start by making a chain of three. This serves as my first double crochet. Now turn over. In the very next stitch, go in with one double crochet. Now put one double crochet into the next stitch. You're going to work one double crochet in each stitch till you get to the end of the row. So I'm putting one double crochet in each stitch across the row till I get to the end of the row. Now I've come to the end of the row and I put one double crochet in each stitch till I got to the last granny square. Now for the next row, start by making a chain of three, which I already did, and turn over. Going to the next stitch with one double crochet. Put one double crochet into the next stitch. Go into the next stitch with one double crochet. So 
So now you're just putting one double crochet in each stitch across the row till you get to the end of the row. Okay, so I did two rows of double crochet for the upper part of the top. You can do more rows or you can just do one row depending on how you want the top to be. But I only did two rows of double crochet. Now moving on to the waistband of the top. As you can see, I already went into each stitch with one single crochet. So now for the next row, I'm going to do a row of double crochet. Start by making a chain of three. Turn over. In the first stitch, go in with one double crochet. Put one double crochet into the next stitch. Now you're going to put one double crochet in each stitch across the get to the end of the row. I'm at the end of the row and I have one double crochet in each stitch. Now for the next row, I'm going to be working with the front post and back post double crochet stitch. Start by making a chain of three. Turn over. In the front post of the next stitch, go in with one double crochet. Go into the back post of the next stitch with a double crochet. Put in one double crochet into the front post of the next stitch. And then go into the back post of the next stitch with a double crochet. One double crochet into the front post of the next stitch and then a back post double crochet stitch. So you're alternating between the front post stitch and the back post stitch. You're going to do this till you get to the end of the row. Now I'm at the end of the row and I alternated between the front post stitch and the back post stitch. Now for the next row, I'm going to start by making a chain of three, one, two, three. This serves as your first double crochet stitch. Now you're going to repeat what you did for the previous row. You'll be alternating between the front post stitch and the back post stitch. So wherever you see the back post stitch, you're going to put a back post double crochet. And wherever you see a front post stitch, you're going to put a front post double crochet. So the first stitch I have is a back post stitch, meaning I'll go into the back post with a double crochet. Now go into the front post with a front post double crochet. Going to the back post with a double crochet. Going to the front post with a double crochet. So you're alternating between the front post double crochet stitch and the back post double crochet stitch. You 
you're going to repeat this till you get to the end of the row now from this point you're going to continue with the front post stitch and the back post stitch so you have the length you want for your top now you can make the waistband as long or as short as you want depending on the length you want for your top uh, let's know how many rows I end up doing before. Now I'll just keep on alternating between the front post stitch and the back post stitch. So you have the length you want. So now I've gotten the length I want for my top and I did a total of 10 rows of the post stitch. Now if you want the top to be longer, you can do more rows depending on the length you want for the top. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch the two sides of the top to close up the panel. So I'll be using my yarn needle. You can use your hook to stitch the two sides together depending on which you prefer. So now I'm done stitching the two sides of the top together to close up the top and we have a tube. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the hand of the top. So for the hand, I already marked off where I want my stitch marker to be. So you're just going to mark off where you want the hand of the top to be. You can bring it in or you can bring it out depending on how close or how far apart you want the hands to be. So now what I'm going to do, since I already have where my stitch marker is, I'm going to attach my yarn where I have my stitch marker. Okay, so now that my yarns have been attached, yarn over, in this first stitch, I'm going to work in one double, one half double crochet, sorry. Yarn over, go into the next two stitches with one half double crochet. So yarn over, go into the stitch and pull through. I have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops. Yarn over, go into the next stitch and pull through. I have three loops, yarn over and pull through. In the next stitch, yarn over, go into the stitch and pull through. I have three loops, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So I have four half double crochets. Now this is how thick I want the hand of my top to be. So if you want your hand to be thinner, you can just do two half double crochets or you can just do a chain and that's okay. So it depends on how thick you want the hands of your top to be. Now chain one and turn over. In the first stitch, go in with one half double crochet. Yarn over, go into the next stitch with one half double crochet. So you're putting one half double crochet in the four stitches. I have four half double crochets. Chain one, turn over. Put one half double crochet in the first stitch. Yarn over, going to the next stitch with one half double crochet. Yarn over, going to the next stitch with one half double crochet. So what you're going to do is you're going to work one half double crochet back and forth so you have the length you want for the hand which I will let you know how many rows I end up doing so now I'm done with the hand of the top and I did a total of 38 rows of half double crochet and then I joined the hand to the back panel so you can make the hand as long or as short as you want depending on the length you want for the hand of the top and you can also skip the hand and wear the top as a tube like i said depending on how you want to design the top it all depends on your preference but i'm okay with the length i have for my hand and this is what the top looks like so thank you so much for watching this tutorial i will see you guys in my next tutorial please don't forget to subscribe thank you